Hello, hello, mga kachika! Ako nga pala si DJ Jazz. Another day, another chikahan, but this time with a twist. Yes, and ako naman po si DJ Yvonne. Since spooky season is fast approaching, we collected some train stories that you might enjoy. And this one that we'll be sharing for today's episode is based on a true life event. Handa na ba kayo? Isang anonymous sender na tatawagin na lang natin sa pangalang Ligaya ang nagbahagi ng kanyang istorya. was pissed off with my best friend. Actually, sobrang naaanoy na ako sa kanya. Everything has changed simula nung nagka-boyfriend siya. How can she forget about my very important day yesterday? Now here she is, walking down the hallway with a huge smile on her face. Bigla niya akong tinawag and I already know what she is going to say. Uy, hi! Uy, may kwento ako sa'yo. Yesterday, me and Seb went out for dinner. Grabe, so sweet! He even gave me flowers. Can you stop talking about him? Every time na makikita mo ko, siya na lang lagi yung bukang bibig mo. Napuno na ako. I left her dumbfounded sa hallway. I heard her calling me pero di ko na siya nilingon. 11 p.m. na lang gabi and I'm getting ready na for bed when my phone dings. It was a message from Sandra. Why are you ignoring me? I decided to sleep na lang since pagod din ako. I was in deep sleep when I heard someone screaming, calling for help. I'm trying to find where the voice is coming from. I started to get nervous when I saw a girl lying helplessly, drenched in blood. Nagulat ako. She was murmuring incoherently. I couldn't understand her until she started yelling. I become colder and colder. Anxiety is building up. I can't move. Why did you kill me? Why did you kill me? I I can't breathe. I don't know what to do. The voices keep on playing in my head. My tears begin to fall. I can't breathe. And. I woke up. What a weird dream. Bakit ko naman yun magagawa sa kaibigan ko? Diba? sana nakiepal eh di sana ako yung nagustuhan niya oh 
What a way to start our spooky season! Grabe, kinilabutan na ko ron. Oo nga, at sa totoo lang, di ko na alam kung paano makakatulog mamaya. Thank you to our sender for sharing that bone-chilling story to us. That really sends shivers down our spine. Ikaw pa, partner, may thoughts ka ba na gusto mong i-share sa ating mga kachika? Personally, ang obsessed naman ng babae para magawa yun sa sariling best friend niya. Feel ko lang nga, pero ang root cause talaga nito ay ingit or envy. Tapos, naging jealousy. Kaya mga kachika, be careful talaga sa mga binebe friend niyo. I agree, talaga nakakasira ng friendships kapag bottled up inside lang yung feelings at walang clear communication.